Hello guys, I have some updates for you. Let's start. As you can see here, Clay went out of their way to give us a written tutorial for radiation. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They fixed the nuclear waste bottle color when pumped or emptied. For completion, this is how it looks inside of the pipes. Red bolt chambers no longer consume power when they have zero red bolts in it. And if they store red bolts, they use up the regular 120 watts. Sadly, now red bolt chambers require a foundation even after being built. Now it is no longer working. Another thing, the red bolt recipe list was in the wrong order. And as you may see by the tiny symbols, they have added icons for ingredients and products in the recipe queue screen. They apparently added a lot of controller support that I can't confirm at the moment. They also made minor UA adjustments that apparently do not work as intended. If you press the B button to copy the building from before, this happens. This is very annoying. But they did add support for smaller resolutions. The automation broadcast receiver, this thing here, its side screen now includes a scroll bar instead of an infinitely growing vertical window. Let's check that. Seems to work. They have also added the no channels available message if you haven't built an automatic broadcaster yet. There has been a small change to when you copy the settings of an automated notifier that it will copy over the tooltip 2, not just the name. They improved the audio ambient performance slightly, as well as small improvements to string memory allocations, whatever that means. They fixed an issue where rockets with multiple artifact modules could harvest more than one artifact from a single space point of interest. There have been even more changes for game improvement, for which we first need to go into space. They improved the star map path, calculation memory allocation and performance. They resized the temporal tear opener to match with the artwork. So let's see how big this is. Yeah, as big as the artwork. Do you know all the new dev buildings I told you about? Well, it seems that they got rid of the dev life support. It's no longer there. But most importantly, they brought back Stinky to the starting duplicate selection screen. Also, did you know that if you are in the duplicate selection screen and in dev mode, you can press Alt and S to take a look at the asteroid? I just found that out and thought I'd share that with you. And for now, consider leaving a like and if you want to, take a look at the next video.